Hey everybody, Dave here, and today I wanted to show you this uh, this thing I made. It's a, a light bucket. I call it a light bucket. It's kind of like a photographer's light box, only you can make this one for uh, about $15, or you may already have this stuff around. Uh, basically, it's just a white bucket with a white lid and a clamp light, and I just took the clamp off the clamp light. Um, right now, I've got some microgreens in there. And I'm, I'm thinking also it would be good for growing uh, microgreens in there for a time lapse. So I got my microgreens, you know, this one's already grown out, but I'm going to do one with the microgreens just as babies. And I'll place my camera in this little opening, and then I'll be able to, um, you know, have a nice clean white background and nothing, nothing but the plant. Uh, but I'll give you guys a closer look at this. Uh, but basically, um, it's a great setup for photographing items little items that you want to put on for sale and stuff like that, um, pieces of artwork, um, because you have a beautiful, well-lit place, and you could use, the clamp light works well, but if you have, you know, good photography lights, by all means, put those on top, um, but the clamp light works okay, and basically you can put whatever you want to photograph in there, and you've got a beautiful white background, a lot of places um, like Amazon wants an all-white background, so if you shoot in here, you don't have to uh, Photoshop in a white background. It's already done. And um, I'll try to take some photos to show you guys. I've, I have some already that I've taken a lot of photos with this, but I'll make sure that they came from the, from the light bucket. Um, yeah, and so it's really easy, guys. Let me give you a closer look, and I'll go over the details a little bit more, and I'll tell you exactly how I made this. And basically, it's very easy. And so anybody can do it, really. So let me give you a closer look, and um, I'll talk about how we do it. And we'll look at um, the plants in there, and I'll show you some of the photos that I took with this setup. And then um, I'll show you the setup of how I'm going to do the time lapse. So these are arugula I have growing in there now. And they weren't really growing in there. I grew them somewhere else and I just put them in here for this, you guys. But this will, they would grow just beautifully in there because as you could see, um, it's well lit in there. And you could put a little block like this inside if you wanted to bring them closer to the light. But I, I have a feeling that they would be okay even on the bottom of the bucket. But you could always raise them up on a little platform. I'm going to be giving this a try, like I said, with the uh, with the microgreens on a time lapse. This opening, I just cut it with a razor knife. So a razor knife will work. You just want to score it, you know, draw it out there with it, make a little pattern for yourself with a piece of cardboard or something, and then just lightly score the the plastic the first time, all the way around and then you'll have a little outline and then your knife will stay right in that groove and just go around it maybe two more times and then it'll start to come out for you and you'll get a nice clean cut and basically and you can use a saw but it might heat up the plastic and make it a little um, jiggity you know it might make it a little rough whereas this really came out smooth same thing here I just took a utility knife after I drew my circle on there and I put it, uh, you know, made my first little round lightly and then the second time a little bit more pressure and the third time it was starting to go through. So. Like I said, you've got a beautiful uh, works great as a light box for small items so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna set it up for photographs and putting some put some things in there that you might want a photo so I can show you how it works as a uh, you know as a light box
So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a view of the uh, the light bucket set up for time lapse. Um, I'm sure the light bucket's going to do fine. I'm not sure about the camera, but I did some preliminary tests, and it looks like it's going to work um, with an action camera. And I have broccoli micros in the bucket, and I'm going to film for about 16 hours a day, photo every minute, and. Um, empty the card every day into the computer. So I gotta neaten up those wires a little bit to make it a little bit safer. Um, but that's that's it. That's the basic setup. So it's great for photography. Um, I think the uh, microgreens will grow great in there under one light. Um, so it's good for growing and I think it'll be great for time-lapse because I I've been trying to do some time lapses and you know the action cameras have kind of a wide angle and I could use other cameras but even with other cameras you know you might capture stuff you don't want and um, this gives me a nice beautiful white background and I only have to capture what I want and it's well lit so I think it's gonna do well but um, I'll keep you guys posted I'll be posting the, um, the, the time lapse videos on the channel um, when I get them perfected. So there it is guys, the light bucket. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you um, hope it inspires you guys to try to build a light bucket. Very simple and easy and like I said it could double as a grow bucket. So you get to have a grow bucket that's a light bucket so you can grow and show. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you again soon. Remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.